Oh my god, today we're gonna play Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies Chaos Story Trailer. Let's react. Sorry, let's get into this. Let's get into it. Oh, I got Titanic. I haven't seen my father in 15 years. Why am I not surprised time? his obsessions are still getting me in trouble? As a kid, I believed my father's stories. Ooh, adult, interesting. I believed his stories were fantasy. Some perk machines? Question Janet, mark. We all owe your father a great debt. We will do whatever it takes to get him back. This is magic. Dark magic. What? Awesome song. Sure, a lot of the same though. Ooh, that you looks have an dope. The for the horrors unfolding around us. Hmm? These symbols, this vessel, it's all Zeus? connected. I stared into the abyss, and the Mystery abyss box. gave me a gun. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, whoa! I think I'm in love. That's interesting. Sword and a gun at the same time? That's a dope shot. Ooh. Interesting. Underwater zombies! That's cool. Ooh. Oh, so that thing's on both maps. Interesting. Oh my god, there's guns! On the only melee weapon map. It's a of where, Diego. It's when. when. Time travel. Great. Let's find something to shoot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder how melee weapons are gonna work. Oh. Tiger! And Mike Tyson's Tiger? Ooh, that gun looks so cool. Your savior is here. <laughs> That's pretty dope. That gun looks awesome. Whoa. Scott, look out. Voice of despair. Nine. I put a smell on you. Another sneak peek at a order now and get access to the private beta. Desi? 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 Okay. Desi? Um. Well, that was pretty cool. It's very beautiful, very awesome looking. Uh, I kind of like the new characters. It's gonna give me time to get used to and. You know, actually play as them. Uh, I just hope that they fix a lot of issues that I had with the game with Black Ops 3. Because Black Ops 3 was the game that killed zombies for me. And I, I think I was going to do a, like a separate video explaining. But I think I'll just do a quick explanation of why Black Ops 3 zombies. Like why I didn't like it so much. And why it kind of killed it for me. So, um... Mainly for three reasons. Content, game mechanic, and people I played with. People I played with, I had no friends in a way. None of my friends had an Xbox One. So I can't I couldn't play with them, so I had to resort to randoms in random lobbies. Now the uh, now with all zombie games or all the Call of Duty zombie games, a trend is you'll get these terrible teammates that if they get down once they'll quit or they get down all the time and they're just really bad or they don't know how to play the map for examples I for example I really hated uh, Shadows of Evil mainly I also really hated the whole Apothecon thing I hated Margwas I hated the stupid bugs I like the zombie like raps the little roly poly bugs I like those but the flying bugs and the big Margo thing I just hated I don't know I just disliked them very much 
Um, and every time I tried to play that with randoms, they just didn't know how to open pack a punch and they just, you know, anytime I would try to save a crawler or anything like that, they just kill it. And like, no one had mics. And when I would message them, they wouldn't respond or pay attention. It was just so aggravating. And then to the giant, I've already played that stupid map three times. Played in World of War. Ow. I played it in Black Ops 1. I played in Black Ops 3. Not much different between any of the games. 3 is just snowy. Which, you know, wasn't that great. Uh, and, you know, and the servers for the giant was just so bad. Where it was so hard to get a full lobby. And if I did, someone would get down at the first, you know, minute or so. Or first couple rounds. And they'd quit. And then, you know. And then if I did get a full lobby and we did play, we always did the same strat of being on the catwalk in the very back on the third teleporter, you know? So it just, it just kind of got really dull and I just hated playing with randoms to a point where I started playing solos and then solos and I just got so bored of the game. And then Derizon Drag came out. I was like, oh, finally, thank God, a DLC map, please, God. And it had the stupid bow thing. Which I absolutely hate. I hate when they have essential like. Here's another thing: game mechanics was one of the issues. I hate when they had when they create too many essential things. Uh, with Shadows of Evil, you know, Juggernaut's the only essential perk, at least for years. For for many years, Jug was the only essential perk. Uh, then Shadows of Evil. They had Widow's Wine, which became the second essential perk. You know, b back then I would say the only other perk that would, some players would consider essential would be Speed Cola, which is a perk I always got. But I always loved messing around. I would always get Jug, Speed Cola, and I would either get like Double Tap, Quick Revive, or I usually got Quick, quick Revive a lot, but I would get Quick Revive, maybe Mule Kick, even though I kind of hated Mule Kick uh, after time went on. At least in Black Ops 2, I hated it. Um... You know, but they just, there was just so many, like, essential things. There was, you know, that, and then there was a, the Widow's Wine, which became a new essential, which I hated. Hated Widow's Wine. I hated the whole throwable thing, but that's just, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I hated um, the gumballs or go gobble gums. It just, you know, you needed a perkaholic, and you needed to either shell out some dough to get a perkaholic or grind like crazy. Which I did, and when I did get a perkaholic, I never wanted to use it because I didn't want to waste it on a solo match, and then I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to waste it on a solo match, and I didn't want to waste it on a squad of randoms, and someone just quits because they got down on round eight, or we made it to round thirty, and the guy, f the dude's first down. And he's like, oh, well, I'm going to quit because I, I got down or something stupid. You know, so I never use my Perkaholics. I think I have like seven Perkaholics. And I think I only used like maybe two the entire time I was playing because I never had an opportunity where I was like, I need to use this. Or I'm going to use this with, you know, with a, with a solid squad to get far and around or whatever. It never happened. Then they did... Horizon Jack, where the bows became, if you didn't do the bows, you're going to suck and you're going to die because you need the bows to kill everything. Especially when the uh, the mechs, I don't remember what they're called, when the mechs come, you're going to need the bows to kill them pretty quick. You know? It just kind of sucked, and I, I just got to a point where I didn't care. You know, I decided to learn the lightning bow, and of course, lightning bow was the most OP one, so everyone tried to get it, so if I didn't get it, then it's like, I don't know any of the other bows. So I didn't want to, I just didn't feel like learning a pattern to upgrade my bow. Like I miss, I, I truly miss, like I'm fine with having them add one weapon that you have to do this little Easter egg for. And then you can just simply pack a punch it or something or, or a gun or a wonder weapon that's in the box. I love that. I think that's great. Have a wonder weapon in the box, but to pack a punch it, you have to do, you know, steps. To, to upgrade it and then when you upgrade it then you can pack a punch it again or whatever you know I just those three things you know they made Widow's Wine a essential perk the uh, the freaking bows and Derise and Drag which I absolutely hated you know the staffs are cool but you know they to me they got old quick because it just 
I, but also on Origins, I felt like I didn't always need the, the staffs. I could just survive on my own. Whereas in uh, Derizon Drag, I felt like you had to get the boat to just go long rounds, um, which I just absolutely hated and despised. Um, you know, and uh, what was the third thing? <laughs> Game mechanic. Content. Yeah, the content was basically playing the giant solely the giant because shadows of evil is just what i didn't like it solo and i didn't like playing with random because they didn't know how to open pack punch ever um so hopefully they fix that in this game there you know there's probably going to be some kind of microtransactions in the zombies for black ops 4 i guarantee it hopefully it's not like gobble gums i hope they get rid of gobble gums i'm pretty sure they did unless it's in like it, unless they made it into a new form like cards or something like that or like pa pieces of paper or some kind of other gimmick uh i just hope they get rid of that concept i just don't like the whole gobble gum thing unless they were just completely you know situational things like a power up or you know there's a gobble gum where you get a bunch of ran random weapons every 30 seconds for like three minutes or something uh you get uh, Mustang and Sally or something you know for a minute and a half you know stuff like that not oh you get all the perks in the game or oh on the house where you know you get a perk and everyone else gets a perk like or, or I'm cool on the house like that one was fine you know it's a strat to get four perks and then get a random perk which hopefully doesn't screw you over like you get four good perks and the fifth perk is meal kick you know in my opinion meal kick was what would have made meal kick better was if you could just hold Y and that goes to your third weapon, not having to cycle through all three weapons. Um, but that was a little rant, I guess, kind of deal. Um, Black Ops 3. Hopefully, you know, Black Ops 4 looks great. 9, I well, after seeing gameplay of 9, I'm actually kind of into it. It actually looks pretty dope. Uh, Boys of Despair. I just saw when I saw the regular trailer I was like oh that's cool it you know giving me little feels of Call of the Dead which uh, at least back then I would always say it's my favorite zombies map today it's up there but I don't know if it is my favorite if I still say that um, it's just been a while since I've even played zombies um, uh, I like I haven't even played any of the other maps on Black Ops 3 you know I barely I think I played one time on Shina Numa and made it to like round eight on like a duos or something or doubles and just died and I was like oh okay well I'm gonna get off and just never played it again like I hell I played multiplayer like insane for Black Ops 3 which surprises me like I didn't think I would play Black Ops 3's multiplayer as much as I did but what killed that was it's stupid supply drops like I just wanted cool guns like the HP 40 or the FAMAS, or the, I think it was called the FFAR, I think it was called, you know, uh, the, you know, just a bunch, there was some, PPSH, there was a ton of dope guns, they re, they, they added the, uh, KN94, AN94, can't remember the name, from the AK looking gun from Black Ops 2, they added that, but it was like, way after its life cycle, um, yeah, I just hated those supply drops. I remember I I saved up up to like 1,200 crypto keys. I think it was, yeah, crypto keys, like 1,200. And then I spent like, and then I bought like $20 worth of COD points. And I got like three melee weapons, uh, the rocket launcher, which I actually really wanted the rocket launcher. I don't remember what it was called, but I really wanted it. But I mean, it's a rocket launcher. Doesn't go that far. Um, but, but this trailer though, great trailer. And there's not much to say. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 what? Be hitting this. Jesus. Is that the Brecky? That looked like the Brecky. And that gun to the left kind of looks like the Man of War. I love the Man of War. Multiplayer and everything. Nah. Nah, that's probably not the Man of War. That's probably just a new gun. But that looks like the Brecky. That's kind of cool. 
Is that just zomb? Now I wonder, is Brecky in zombies or is it also, in, or is that like a multiplayer gun? That'd be kind of cool. I think that would be cool if they brought back the Brecky or some Black Ops 3 guns. They brought those back and put them in zombies, but not just zombies, but also multiplayer, but on top of a bunch of new guns. Um, that's cool. That looks like the Brecky. I'm going to look into that, see if anyone like found that out, if that was the Brecky. Um, that, see that thing, that thing looks cool, but it also looks like a staff and I hope it's, there's not four of them. I hope there's just one and like you can get either just build it like the Slickifier, I think it was called in Die Rise or, uh, you get out of the box and to upgrade it, you got to build something. And then after you build something, you got to pack a punch something. I don't know. I just hate the whole, how I just hate like, Oh, here's a wonder weapon, but you gotta, you know, you got to build it. You got to do some Easter eggs. So then, like, if you build it, and you know, and your teammates find out you build it, oh, they're going to quit. If they're, if they're randoms, you know, because I don't, I don't have many people that play zombies. Or, you know, unless I force them. I can force Malik to play zombies, but he gets, like, weird, like, headaches because of the field of view or something, I guess. Gun looks really cool. It kind of looks like the that one gun that was in uh, Origins, which I rarely use that gun, but that gun was dope, and I think I thought that gun was dope and it looked awesome. Um, but yeah, that looks like that gun, which would be cool. I always wanted them to bring back certain wonder weapons, like the 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 gun from Origins that no one ever used, at least in my opinion, from what I saw. Uh, uh, Winter's Howl. A lot of people probably would say that's probably one of the worst wonder weapons but I loved it I thought it was great it's pretty good with trains I would say um, or getting away just choo, 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 choo. you know because the ray gun used to be super great but ever since like they got rid of the mechanic of diving they got rid of PhD flopper which was one of my favorite perks of all time pretty much when they because they got rid of diving they got rid of PhD flopper which means you the ray gun is in my opinion useless because it's like how am I going to survive you know when when I'm getting cornered if I ever get cornered I can't use the ray gun because I'm just going to just down myself you know what I mean they should like make a new perk like there was one that people were like created called banana something banana fire or something like that where you slide and it's a bunch of fire behind you do something like that and then you can you know you dive it's just bunch of fire behind you and maybe an explosion right as you got uh, right as you slide or something or you slide and it's like back to the future like that would be kind of silly but I don't know what do you guys think of this trailer if you're a zombies fan I think zombies are like they're fine they're good I'm probably gonna watch that <laughs> um, pre-order now and get the only access to the private DLC damn shots fired uh, but yeah, thank you for guys. What? Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the reaction, maybe leave a like. Maybe comment down below what you think of this trailer. Uh, you know, does it hype you up? Are you more excited for Nine? Were you one of the people who thought Nine was gonna be an only melee weapon map? Which honestly, people who thought that you're, you're dumb. Like. If Treyarch did that, they're stupid. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, excited for zombies. I'm just, you know, the only thing I'm really waiting for is seeing some content on Blackout. But but before that, I want to do some content and some speculation. Some, you know, things I would want to see in Blackout. So hopefully, you know, not yet. You know, what about they're going to have a private beta? I thought I read on Charlie Intel about blackout hmm I wonder how that's gonna work I wonder how private it is all oh, pre-order or you gotta buy a special edition or you gotta get the black ops pass to get into blackout uh, freaking beta I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't have an outro still I never will <laughs>